Anacone, planet of festivities. A cradle drowning in dreams, a haven for the cowardly. The family has summoned guests for its grand celebration. The golden blood will flow from the destruction. Destruction? As to them. Children of the flame, this marks your rite of passage. Whoa. This looks very demon esque. I lit a fire in your eyes and showed you music of the strings. Complete different vibes. Serenade of the celebration and hush the harmony into muted awe. It will be done, Father. Dura, I set your form alight and taught you mastery of the blade. Temper it with sulfur. Made the elation and let the performer's blood and tears pour into the abyss. As you wish, father. Do we have another father? Katarina, this is Genshin and this is H-Star. kindled a flame in your heart and granted you blood of fire. Who are you first? Use your wrath Different game. to shatter the preservation sanctum and build their gold to create a statue of our savior. You got it, old man. And Constance at last. My most ambitious and exceptional child. So this guy's there got a favorite? There is nothing more to teach you. Just remember, without Pelicone's midnight hour, strip away all they hold dear and leave naught but the remembrances too. That kind of reminds me of the Abyss Herald. <laughs> she won't be necessary. I can take them alone. Katarina, a little pessimism might be wise. What if we all end up dead? Mmm. Look at that droopy man. Since when have those on the path of destruction feared death? Still, it is wise to plan ahead, Father. Interesting. What is our fallback if things become perilous? Fall back! Such a thing does not exist. Destruction Hello, is brave and heroic. To cling to life is to delay in cowardice. Ooh. Relish Pelicone, savor its invitation. Prepare this beautiful dream to welcome its new master from Fedora. Dude, sick! Fate, Duke Inferno. So these are the baddies for this region? I freaking love it. Dude, I freaking love it. These are like the antagonists, right? Dude, they look sick. Ah, he reminds me so much of the Pyro Herald, the Abyss Herald. The one we just had to freaking deal with over the past three Abyss cycles. Okay, he looks so drippy. Love the sunglasses. This is giving, dude, I feel like <laughs> this kind of reminds me of uh, uh, Chandelure Pokemon, kind of, <laughs> with like a, but with like a, um, what's the word? Uh, puppeteer, also kind of giving the um, Sandrone vibe. She, I'm just, dude, look at her. She's sick. She's sick. She definitely, if she's playable, she's definitely throwing those things at the enemies. And then her. I have no idea. But she looks very quantum. She looks very quantum. She looks very like lightning. I feel like he's imaginary and she's fire. And he's fire. What do you guys think? She looks like fire destruction. She oh my god, imagine she throws this and it hits all like a like a a bunch of enemies. Like imagine. She looks like she would be like some one she kind of gives off abundance vibes. Or maybe like, um, maybe Harmony? I don't know. I don't know. From Nike? Should have seen this cast coming given the new follow-up attack set lores and icons. <laughs> yeah. Dude, these are sick. This is sick. With the side, dude. This patch on <laughs> the gay villain. But this is awesome because I love villains, dude. I've always loved villains. Like, I feel like 
you, you can figure that out if how depending how long you've been in my community life stealing oh maybe she's great for blade this guy looks dope though something about him he looks op but he's giving the very nonchalant vibe i'm feeling like the damage dealers are him and him and then he looks like preservation almost but they're talking about like those who follow the path of destruction there's just no way all of these are destruction right there's just no way she kind of looks like she would be harmony or nihility like harmony or nihility i'm not getting dps vibes from here you know what i mean i'm not getting the dps vibes think they'll kill anyone um i'm not gonna rule anything out for star rail i'm not ruling anything out for star rail fire elation and send Hima go back into the depths fire elation oh you mean like like fire erudition but also does like the follow-ups he kind of gives off preservation vibes though like if they were to do a penacony foo kind of style maybe he's not like a shield he kind of gives off preservation as play style path that's very true tay villain arc always always who's the four star in this pick you can never tell because some of the four stars are so grippy um i don't know i don't know i don't think she's a four star i'm not getting four star vibes from her it's hard to tell i feel like these two are not it, it could be it could be anybody's i i feel like she's not either she doesn't look four star it, it might be this one or this one. Maybe it's none of them, to be honest. Maybe it's none of them. DOT, but I doubt it. I don't know. I don't know. Is that her? Is this Dahlia? Dahlia? Has no, no good story, has no good villain no good story has no good villain so you're saying good stories don't have good villains is that what you're saying succubus succubus i'm like feel like i'm not saying any of these words right from this game yeah it's like a whole it's a different vibe like lantern rave is so chill and relaxing we're listening to like the nice like Chinese instruments and everything, and then bam, demons. <laughs> like, did you see this shit? Like apples with with like, you know, eyeballs. Dude, I'm freaking excited. Are you kidding me? I'm looking for the exact thing where I was like, oh, oh, where was it? Was it in the beginning? Was it right in the beginning? Yeah, this, bruh. This is interesting. As long as they're playable, do they all look so playable? They all look so playable. You know who out of all of this might not be playable? Could be him, but he looks playable. They all look playable. They either give him the Fantilia, like, well, who's to say Fantilia doesn't become playable? Oh my God, imagine. Suck. You bus. Suck you bus. Suck you bus. <laughs> All good stories need a good villain. Yeah, okay. Okay, I got you. Because you don't know anyone similar to him in Hawkeye Impact 3, and he's the well from there. How to say succubus? No, succubus. No, stop. I'm feeling judged right now. But like with flowers all around it, um, I think this game may cater a little bit to an older player base. I've always felt that way since I started playing it. But uh, I think Honkai Impact, like, I think the Honkai series is just going to probably stay darker than the, than the Genshin. Could be imaginary. If there's anyone that's looking imaginary, it's this dude, for sure. You usually ever just feel like imaginary give off the same vibe. Like, they've got a vibe to them, and this, he looks imaginary. I don't know what it is. 
I don't know what it is. None of the others look imaginary. Though you never know. I just feel like the whole glowing purple looks very quantum. I feel like if she's not quantum, this one is for sure. If these two are not pyro or fire, then I feel like it's all a lie. <laughs> Group is growing. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. But this is only like the baddies. Like there's still there's still so many people oh, no. on their way, right? Oh, you think this could be Welt? What a plot twist that would be. What a plot twist that would be. Also, this looks like a King's Rock right here. That's absurd. Are less shy about going down the darker storylines. Genshin has those things, but it's usually in the side quests. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here for Everflame Mansion, dude. I'm here for it. That looks so cool. Wow, I'm pumped. I'm, I'm like a, I like the look.